Hello everybody, this is Out of the Box Unboxing and in today's episode I'm going to make a practical test of this uh, Mindser from Silvercrest available at Lidl and uh, for this purpose I have prepared um, uh, which is something special, I mean the tomato uh, strainer attachment uh, I have prepared some tomatoes so I will make a tomato sauce uh, I will extrude tomato sauce uh, out of tomatoes and uh, yes so uh, as always basic features on the beginning and uh, please allow me to read the manual because I don't remember all, all the details uh, first of all it's uh, 300 watts uh, it's short operating time it's uh, 15 minutes uh, actually I was working uh, with it almost constantly uh, it's the second year of the operation so I can let's say not guarantee but I can say that more than 15 minutes this um, appliance is uh, capable to 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 handle uh, you have a bunch of accessories that I will show you later on but let me let's say uh, read in order what what you have try with pusher it's made out of steel pusher is here what else three uh, mincer discs yes you have them uh, tomato strainer attachment which is already attached um, sauce uh, sausage attachment coop attachment and biscuit attachment uh, from my perspective what is uh, important is that you have a gear forward and backward so you are able to if something go in you can you can make a reverse let me let me show you how this works and what is uh, important you can turn it on and is and it will work constantly but after switching um, uh, to reverse it's only applied when you work when you press it sorry um, and uh, I would say I have some experience with this uh, so I will share you with you my thoughts as a let's say summary and then I will show you how it works in uh, a practical way so the attachment is made by uh, this connection and actually this connection could be a little bit better because I had experience with other appliances that have uh, uh, on the end there is a fitting that is allowing to keep it in in place and why it is important because let me let me disconnect it and by the way the this plastic is very I would say light so please be careful it's flimsy and doesn't seems to be uh, robust okay but let me let me open it and here, here you have it as you may see the plastic pa uh, part is is that there are scratches all over the place that means it was connecting with the steel uh, housing so it was not working properly so in my opinion it's missing some kind of uh, plastic thing that would keep it evenly so uh, and, and second thing yesterday when I was trying to uh, to, to, to um, test it actually after fitting the whole mechanism was blocked I don't know why I don't know how but I let's say I was checking the manual and there is not so many things that can be done in wrong way so let me, let me check it and please take a look everything is 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 moving So that means there is a connection and believe me I was checking twice 
this manual in order to check because I thought maybe I'm doing something wrong okay let's take a look on the attachment uh, here is this pusher some for biscuits actually I was not using them you can have a for pasta some kind of uh, uh, and for meat pusher for the for the meat I would say for something around 40 euros I would say uh, good enough what is uh, most important it has a three years warranty so no uh, no vacation from my side for this appliance I'm let's say using it hard uh, and I'm saying to myself if it wor works for three years without any damage it will work let's say a longer time but if it fails uh, within those three years I will get my money back so uh, so this is in principle how it works but now I will let's say show you uh, the unique feature I mean the size which is good for the storaging but not good for uh, making a tomato sauce so uh, and you may think I lost my mind what the hell I'm doing with it but uh, bear with me here the sauce will be going down yes here I have a leftovers so I need to have a separate dish for that so I've came with this solution of this glass and because everything is I mean the height it's uh, not not in my way so I I view I'm using this pot just to uh, just to lift it a bit so now it will be a little bit noisy but you will be able to to see how it really works so let's let's give it a try <laughs> And as you can see, by let's say doing this uh, movie, I did not pay attention. So there are some leftovers that came into a pot, but in let's say without filming it, I would be more conscious on that. But take a look how many nice tomato concentrate I have in let's say less than a minute. So it's, it's quite efficient uh, depending on the, depending on the uh, mm, uh, type of the tomato, the, this, this actually this uh, pusher, sorry not pusher, this screw will be jammed, but uh, it's up to, up to, up to tomato uh, type. So I'm curious about your opinion, maybe you will share with me your hints. This is my, let's say, setup and this allowing me to work with this amount of tomatoes, which is, let's say, like 8 kgs. It's, uh, on the end, the, the pot will be full and I can easily take out all those leftovers afterwards. So, in my opinion, this appliance is it's great. Uh, it's not, uh, 
ideal because for instance this could be a little bit better it could have this uh, uh, part for the uh, for keeping it in, even in line i know that leftovers are coming out but believe me there are appliances that have this fitting on the on the end and what else uh, for 40 euros with this those attachments that are those accessories that are uh, here i think it's a great deal please remember that it has a three years warranty so i'm happy to to work with it and i highly recommend you to buy it but please take into consideration all the disadvantages and disadvantages thank you for watching stay tuned see you next time and i'm I have some, some job to be done. Take care. Bye.